What's up guys? It's Caleb here again today. I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on your BRZ. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start to run E85 in this car. Um, so I'm going to do an oil change before I do so. Um, everyone's talking to you about different kinds of uh, oils you should use and stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and use the stock oil and change it as often as possible. Um, you know, every 2,500 miles or so. And really I think that's the best way to go about it. So these are the tools you're going to specifically need for the BRZ. You're going to need just a 14 millimeter uh, socket, preferably a deep socket, and then you're going to want a uh, ratchet 3 8 and then you might want an extension. Uh, I didn't think it was necessary, so I didn't use one. And then we've got an adjustable oil filter wrench. If you've never done one on your BRZ yet yourself and the dealership has done it, highly recommend this because that uh, oil filter is going to be very, very tight. You're going to also want a new one, or you can reuse that one. I don't know why I bought two. And then you're going to want your uh, zero weight 20 oil, and you're going to want your uh, mobile one or whatever uh, oil filter you want to use. The part number for that is uh, M1104. All right, so that being said, now we got the car all jacked up on jack stands. Um, pretty easy, it's just an oil change, but you know, of course, you want to do the steps right. So I already warmed my car up, so we're not going to do that. Now we're actually going to go underneath the car and loosen up some bolts. So that's going to be your drain plug right there. You want to just pop that loose once you've taken the cap off on top of the motor. So you're going to want to release the cap, that way the flow comes out smoothly. We're going to go ahead and bust that open and uh, get your drain pan ready because it's going to come out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. BRZ's taking a pee. So we're going to let that drain all the way out. And then we're going to pop off the oil filter on top. And then I'm going to take guys the appropriate amount of oil to put in your BRZ. We're going to go ahead and fill it up. And we're going to burn the rest of the tank and we're going to go put uh, some E85 in it. just want to show everybody this so we don't have any dilemmas or arguments on the amount of oils you're going to use. This is the Subaru's owner manual. We're going to use 5.7 quarts. Um, there's a lot of uh, stipulation about that on the internet. And I just want to say this is the Subaru owner's manual. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. And there you go for the uh, oil. Um, and they do use Mobile One. Um, my last change was actually at the dealership and uh, you got the mobile um, thing up there so for all the stipulation about that at least where I live they use mobile one other places they might not they might use a Toyota or Subaru um, oils or whatnot but alright so we're gonna get 5.7 quarts into the engine now um, of course you gotta reinsert your uh, drain plug with that 14 mil um, and then keep the cap off we're gonna have to remove the uh, oil filter and put the new one on first as well Alright, so this is barely dripping out now, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the oil filter off and let it fully leak out. Um, we're going to go up top to do that. You may or may not need an oil filter wrench for this. Um, I'm going to see if I do or not. Probably going to because Subaru did it. Alright, so now that we got the old oil filter off, we put the new oil filter back on. I'm going to want to put a little bit of oil around the seal here. Um, that way seals up nice and good. Put it in there. Now trying to get oil all over my engine bay, so we got two funnels in here. Because um, I'm hella shady on. So I've already put uh, the first five quarts in there. So now we're going to just do the last uh, 0.7 quarts in this little guy here. So we're not quite there yet. So once you've gone ahead and let your uh, done your oil change, you're going to want to let your uh, motor warm up to about running idling temperature, a little bit uh, regular temperature, running temperature, and then you're going to go ahead and pull your dipstick out and check your oil. Um, I know if you did the 5.7 perfect, it's pretty hard to get it precise, especially with such a lightweight oil, it's hard to see. Um, so I recommend going back and checking your dipstick after you let it get up to operating temperature, um, and then topping it off to excess exactly where it should be. 